People are eagerly awaiting NASA's Artemis 3 launch in 2026, a mission that promises to return humans to the moon for the first time since Apollo. But what is with the latest delay announcement, and what are the reasons for it? This is the space technician signing on, let's find out. NASA's own study indicates that there is a roughly 1 in 3 possibility that the lander will be at least a year and a half late as the agency moves forward with a crewed lunar landing on the Artemis 3 mission in September 2026. First, let's set the stage and recap a bit. NASA's Artemis program is named after the Greek goddess of the moon and is the sister program to the Apollo missions that first took humans to the lunar surface. Its mission is to land the first woman and the next man on the moon and establish a sustainable human presence by the end of this decade. Artemis 3 is set to be the second crewed Artemis mission and the first American crewed lunar landing since Apollo 17 in December 1972. The initial timeline for Artemis 3 was ambitious, aiming for a 2024 launch, but now has been pushed beyond September 2026. Here's a breakdown of the key reasons. First up is the obvious COVID-19 pandemic. Like many industries, the aerospace sector was also hit hard. Supply chains were disrupted, manufacturing slowed down, and social distancing measures meant fewer hands on deck. The ripple effect of these disruptions has been felt throughout the entire Artemis program. By early 2020, plans for Orion and the HLS to meet with the Gateway had been abandoned in favor of direct docking for Orion and the HLS with a Gateway delivered after Artemis 3. The spacesuits, designed in collaboration with Axiom Space and Prada, would not be ready until April 2025 at the latest, according to an Office of Inspector General audit that was released on August 10, 2021. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced on November 9, 2021 that Artemis 3 will launch no earlier than 2025. In June 2023, Jim Free, NASA's Assistant Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, stated that the launch would probably occur no earlier than 2026. Later in December of 2023, the GAO stated that the mission was unlikely to occur before 2027. And in January 2024, NASA officially postponed Artemis 3 to no sooner than September 2026. Next, we have the technical challenges. The Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft are marvels of modern engineering, but they are also extremely complex. The SLS had numerous challenges during its development and testing phases, necessitating substantial troubleshooting. The same goes for Orion, which must be faultless to assure astronaut safety. Another essential aspect of the puzzle is SpaceX's Human Landing System, or HLS. This technology is intended to carry astronauts from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. While SpaceX's Starship has demonstrated groundbreaking promise, it has also faced delays. The extensive testing necessary to assure its dependability has pushed back the time frame. Budgetary constraints have also played a significant role. NASA needs steady and considerable funding from Congress to keep the Artemis program on schedule. However, funding has been a difficult subject, with swings affecting the development of critical technologies and infrastructure. Without it, they'll face delays and uncertainty, impacting everything from development to testing and deployment. While the delays are frustrating, they are also necessary. Safety is of top priority. They need to ensure every component is thoroughly tested to avoid catastrophic failures. The complexities of returning to the moon can't be overstated. They're dealing with cutting-edge technology and the harsh environment of space. Any oversight could have dire consequences. And that leads us to the present-day announcement. The HLS Initial Capability Project, which is assisting SpaceX in developing the Starship Lunar Lander that will be deployed on Artemis 3, provided the confirmation review for that evaluation earlier. For NASA projects, the confirmation review, sometimes referred to as Key Decision Point C in agency language, establishes schedule and cost commitments. The confirmation assessment, which took place in December 2023, established a February 2028 schedule baseline for the project with a 70% shared confidence level. That implies that Starship has a 70% chance of being ready for a lunar landing by February 2028, a milestone known as the Lunar Orbit Checkout Review. On the 20th of June, the Government Accountability Office, assessing major NASA programs, stated the joint cost and schedule confidence level is an integrated analysis of a project's cost, schedule, risk, and uncertainty, which indicates a project's likelihood of meeting a given set of cost and schedule targets. That deadline is around nine months after NASA's current Artemis III plan, which is set for September 2026. Additionally, the agency says there is a 30% chance the Starship lander won't be ready until February 2028, based on the 70% shared confidence level. 
The confirmation review, which was not widely publicized by NASA when finished, was highlighted in the GAO report. It stated that the timeline evaluation is independent of the readiness of other mission components such as the Space Launch System, Orion spacecraft, and new lunar spacesuits. NASA affirmed in a statement that Artemis 3 is still scheduled to launch in September 2026 and that the dates listed in the GAO study are accurate. It stated the GAO reports costs and scheduled baseline figures are accurate, risk-informed estimates at the 70% joint confidence level. The agency's use of a 70% JCL to inform baseline estimates is a conservative approach that assumes broad risk realization, it continued. NASA continues to have confidence in SpaceX as a provider to help achieve the Artemis 3 mission. The KDPC also estimated a $4.9 billion cost for HLS initial capability with the same 70% shared confidence level. This covers the $2.9 billion fixed-price contract awarded to SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Dynetics in the project's early phase, as well as NASA project office costs. At a meeting of the National Academy Space Studies Board on June 7th, Kathy Corner, NASA Assistant Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, restated the 2026 launch date for Artemis III. That meeting was held one day following Starship and its Super Heavy Booster's fourth combined test flight. She cited the most recent flight and other activities, including an integrated test of the elevator that astronauts would use to descend to the surface from the Starship cabin, as evidence of, from a human landing system project status, SpaceX continues to make great progress. The next important milestone, she stated, was an in-space cryogenic propellant transfer test, which was scheduled for early 2025. The GAO report also stressed the significance of the test. During the confirmation process, a standing review board recommended that SpaceX's in-space propellant transfer test inform the program's critical design review, currently scheduled for 2025. Corner stated that NASA conducted numerous next-worst failure assessments, investigating what would happen if one component of the mission was unavailable. We're always doing those kinds of backup plans, she said. We have not made any changes to the current plan as I outlined it here today, but we have lots of people looking at lots of backup plans, so we're doing due diligence, she continued. Despite these setbacks, there's a lot of exciting progress happening. Astronauts are undergoing rigorous training, simulations are being conducted, and international partnerships are being strengthened. These training sessions are crucial for preparing them for the challenges they'll face on the lunar surface. From handling lunar soil to setting up equipment, every detail is being rehearsed. International collaboration is also ramping up. NASA is collaborating with private companies and international space agencies to make Artemis a reality. Artemis 3 isn't just about landing on the moon. It's about laying the groundwork for a sustainable exploration. The mission aims to establish a base camp at the moon's south pole, where water ice is believed to exist. This resource could be a game changer for long-term habitation and future Mars missions. Water is essential for life, and it can be split into hydrogen and oxygen for fuel. Establishing a base here could pave the way for a sustainable human presence on the moon and beyond. The lessons learned from lunar missions will be applied to future Mars explorations. From landing techniques to life support systems, every aspect of the Artemis missions will inform our journey to the Red Planet. The Artemis program is a global endeavor. NASA has signed the Artemis Accords with several countries, promoting peaceful and cooperative space exploration. This international collaboration is vital for sharing knowledge, resources, and expertise ensuring that the benefits of lunar exploration are felt worldwide. The partnership with space agencies around the world is crucial for the Artemis program's success, bringing together the best minds to tackle the challenges of lunar exploration. Beyond the technical and logistical aspects, Artemis also inspires the next generation. The Artemis program, despite its delays, ignites the curiosity and imagination of young minds, motivating them to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The program is sparking interest in STEM fields, encouraging young minds to pursue careers that will shape the future of space exploration. The dream of exploring space continues to inspire generations. And that's it for the latest updates. We'll keep you guys updated on any news developments and bring you the latest news updates. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of our videos. This is the Space Technician signing off, and I'll see you Space Cowboys very soon with a brand new video.